السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین وقفا و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ اشرف المرسلین سیدنا و نبینا محمد و علیہ علیہ و اصحاب اجمعین اما بعد سو مائی ڈیئر بردر اینڈ سسٹرز آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر ڈوئنگ گڈ می اللہ میک دس منتھ آف رمضان منتھ آف بلیسنگس فار آل آف اس ٹو ڈے از دا فرسٹ آف رمضان ہیئر ان یو ایس اے ایز از ان موسٹ آف دا کنٹریز آل اوور دا ورلڈ مائی ڈیئر بردر اینڈ سسٹرز لاسٹ نائٹ واز دا فرسٹ نائٹ آف سلاد التراویح اینڈ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ انیبل آل آف اس ٹو ایدر پری صلاح تو تراویح ایٹ اوور ہومز اور ایٹ اوور مسجد دوز ہو آر پری صلاح و تراویح ایٹ در ہومز می اللہ سبحان اللہ ایکسیپٹ در صلاح و تراویح اینڈ دوز آف اس ہو آر پری ایٹ اوور مساجد می اللہ سبحان اللہ ایکسیپٹ اوور صلاح ایٹ اوور مساجد these are very abnormal times when corona virus has spread and it has been more than a year last year as you remember we prayed salat taravi all of us prayed salat taravi at our homes masajid were closed we were unable to pray five times salah in our masajid scores of people were sick many of them passed away and it has been a year now but still the corona virus added of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a way that our ibadat would be accepted inshallah so inshallah in the month of ramadan from 7 o'clock till 7:30 p.m for half an hour i will try to explain some of the ayahs of quran to you so that it could be a reminder for myself as well as for the listeners so let's start with surah al-fatiha and then surah al-baqarah surah al-fatiha as we all know is the first surah of quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals seven ayahs in surah al-baqarah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had condensed, has, has summarized the entire messages, the entire meaning of Quran into these seven ayahs of Surah Al-Baqarah. Therefore, in order to understand Quran, we must need to understand the meaning of Surah Al-Baqarah. Another important thing about surah al-baqarah is that this surah is called the mother of all surahs umm al-quran mother of all surahs which means that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had revealed over 100 surahs in quran 114 and this surah is the mother of all surahs so this word umm al-quran also teaches us that in order to understand quran we need to understand the mother of all surahs surah al baqarah surah al fatiha another thing about surah al baqarah is that this is one surah which is recited by every person who prays salah and this surah is recited in every rak'ah of every salah whether it is fard salah nafil salah or sunnah salah this surah is recited in every uh, every raka of every salah and the reason for that is that our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la salata illa bi fatihatil kitab that there is no uh, salah except that it that in it so the and forgot to completely forgot to recite surah al-fatiha although th- this does not happen uh, generally but let's say if somebody does it by mistake then that salah is not valid he has to redo the entire salah 
right? So therefore, Surah Al-Fatiha is a surah which must be understood thoroughly. And as I said, there are only seven ayahs. And uh, I'll do the translation of these seven ayahs, and then inshallah we'll go from there. Surah Al-Fatiha starts with Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamd means all praise. Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah. Rabbul Alameen, who is the master of all the worlds. Right? Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. He is the most merciful. Ar-Rahman, most merciful. And Ar-Rahim, always merciful. So Ar-Rahman means he is extremely merciful. Ar-Rahim means he is always merciful. And Maliki Yawmiddin, he is the master of the Day of Judgment. Iyaka na'bud, to you, O Allah, we worship. To you we worship. Wa iyaka nasta'een. And from you only we seek help. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Show us the straight path. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Show us the straight path. Sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim. Show us the path of those people whom you have blessed. An'amta alayhim. Whom you have blessed. غير المغضوب عليهم. Allah do not show us the path of those people who have earned your anger. ولا الضالين. And do not show us the path of those people who have lost the straight path and they have gone on the wrong path. And in the end, Ameen. Ameen means, O oh Allah, accept. So this is the translation of Surah Al-Fatiha. Ummul Quran, the mother of all surahs. Now the more we go into the depth of this, these seven ayahs of Surah Al-Fatiha, the more we will understand the entire Quran. Right? This is why, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us who pray Salah Alhamdulillah Make it mandatory To understand the meaning of Surah Al-Fatiha Right Whenever you read Surah Al-Fatiha Read it with, under, with, with understanding Right Second thing that I would like to mention here is The Surah Al-Fatiha The entire Surah Al-Fatiha Is actually a dua You are Asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala For one thing and that is the straight path. You are asking Allah that, Oh Allah, show us the straight path. Ihdina Surat al Mustaqim. So this means that this surah is actually a dua. Right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who revealed this surah, is actually teaching us how to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is that when we make dua to Allah, we should glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself have taught us, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmiddin. In these three ayahs, there is praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? And then we are b mentioning what we are doing. And that is, Iyaka Na'bud. Wallah, we would always worship you and we are not going to ask for help from anyone but you so after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and after mentioning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what we are doing then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said then come to the point and that is ihdina sirat al mustaqim now back to me ask what you want to ask you have praised me now ask why were you praising? What is the purpose of this praise? What do you want from me? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Don't ask for money. Don't ask for, uh, for anything. 
but ask for one thing and if you'll get that one thing you have got everything and that is hidayah guidance the straight path if you have got the the straight path if you have if you if you are on hidayah then you have got everything this means that to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most important thing that is needed for human being more than you have got everything so ihdina sirat al mustaqim o allah show us the straight path and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what is the straight path straight path is the path of those pious people who have come before you and who had set a wonderful shining example for you and me to follow and those are the prophets of, of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the chosen people of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala people who have lived by example from adam alayhi salatu was salam to ibrahim alayhi salam abraham then to to moses to jesus and to muhammad alayhi salatu was salam so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said these are my chosen people my favorite people these are the people who lived by my word so if you want to be on the straight path if you want to follow the path right that will take you to allah this is the path the path of the prophets the path of the chosen people right and then ghayr maghdubi alayhim radhalin allah i don't want to to go on the path of those who are who are, who are lost who have earned your, your anger right so now this is a dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordained upon us to to make every day the more we make dua right the more allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be pleased this is why this surah is mandatory right for every muslim to recite in every salah in every raka'a of, of salah and then in the end of this surah the word amin amin means oh allah accept oh allah accept right so this is a very brief uh, meaning of surah al fatiha may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you me understand now moving on to surah al baqara the first surah this surah has over 200 ayats this is the lengthiest surah of of quran now it the surah starts with alif lam mim and as most of you i guess know that the meaning of alif lam mim is known only to allah subhanahu wa taala human beings do not know the meaning of this in many surahs in the beginning allah subhanahu wa taala have put some words like ta ha yasin ta si mim ha mim ain sin qaf and so on and so forth but Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم told us that you know uh, this mean the the meaning of these words so alif lam mim the meaning of this is known only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right but the ulama have the scholars of Quran have mentioned that alif lam mim right since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the meaning of this right what we can understand from this is that a person right when he is trying to understand quran trying to read quran to recite quran should understand that he he or she is uh, ignorant alif lam mim i mean we do not know the meaning of it and this is the kalam of allah this is the book of allah subhanahu wa taala so this means that we do not know everything what we know is very little we do not know everything so let's be humble to allah let's not be arrogant to allah let's not feel that you know i know i have all the knowledge right so alif lam mim should humble us right that we are we are ignorant wallah you know everything right then allah said zalikal kitab among all the books in the world this book al quran this is the book this is why allah says zalika al kitab
So if this is the real book, then this means that this book should be the most important book for all of us. This means that before trying to understand the books of the world, we must try to understand this book because this is the real book. Zalika al Kitab. This is the real book, the original book. The book that has no mistakes. No mistakes whatsoever. So, like saying that you know medicine, you, you know space science, you know engineering, you know uh, math, science, geography, biology, you know all those, which is good. Right? But when it comes to real book, Allah said, Zalika al Kitab. This is the real book and Allah said la raiba fi because there is no doubt that every ayah of Quran every ayah in this book every verse in this book every word in this book is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there is no doubt about it there is no I mean you should not ever doubt about this book la raiba fi so before embarking on understanding this book Clear your mind. First have firm conviction that what you are going to read, what you are going to recite has no mistake whatsoever. There is no mistake whatsoever. There are no loopholes. Open for understanding. And then the third thing Allah said, Hudallil Muttaqeen. This is the book that will show you the right path if you want to be among the righteous people. Right? So, this is the real book. And my dear brothers and sisters, this is the real book. You and I should take this book more seriously than we take any other book. Right? To recite it every day. For example, in Ramadan, to recite it day and night. To, you know, understand the ayahs, the meaning of these ayahs. To contemplate into the beauty of this book. Right? This should be our every day schedule of life that's why let's embrace this book let's understand how important this book is because Allah in Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah have said if you really believe in this book then you would really recite uh, this book day and night if you don't believe in this book then you will recite it once in a while or you will not be serious with this book so Allah in Surah Al-Baqarah in one place said الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابِ يَتْلُونَهُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِي أُولَٰئِكَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِي Allah said those people who, who have been given this book they believe that this is the book of Allah so they recite this book as is the right of this book to be recited Allah said أُولَٰئِكَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِي only then you know, these people could be termed as the believers. Ulaika, these are the people who yu'minuna bi, who really believe in this book. And وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ And those people who neglect this book, ignore this book, discard this book, Allah said, you know what, these are the losers. They are the losers. Because they are not fulfilling the rights of this book. Right? So, remember my dear brothers and sisters, to believe in this book, that's number one, right? Second is to recite this book. Number three, to understand the meaning of this book. And number fourth, to implement the message of this book in our lives. These four 
rights must be accomplished by all of us right again the first one is to believe to believe that this is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's number one that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the very beginning said la raiba fi that do you believe that this is book this is the book from Allah if this is the, the book from Allah then Allah cannot make mistakes so the first thing is that this book is the book of Allah free from all mistakes so that's number one aqeedah belief in this book right second is uh, to uh, recite when you believe it then then recite so tilawat of Quran recitation of Quran this is the second right of this book of us right and now the third one is that don't recite without understanding recite with understanding so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do tadabbur in Quran understand the meaning of Quran right go deep into the meaning of of Quran that's the third third right and then the fourth one and the final one is that you know to follow to implement to implement the message after understanding the message just understanding is not good enough if it is not uh, followed by amal by deeds by actions so when you have knowledge about Quran now put that knowledge into action this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran in many many places have said alladheena amanu wa amilu salihat people who have belief who have understanding of Quran who have understanding of Islam Allah saying now they must follow it up by doing by doing good deeds right so my my dear, dear brothers and sisters this session every day would be of only 30 minutes right so um, you know may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala understand uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to understand uh, the Quran inshallah every day I will be uh, with you from 7 o'clock to 7.30 Orlando time and I think when this is through this small session of uh, Quran understanding uh, by 30 uh, by the end of this month you know we will be able to or we should be able to have some little much understanding of some ayat of Quran right so inshallah I will conclude here and inshallah I'll be back with you tomorrow at 7 o'clock may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to make the best use of Ramadan Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanak Allah wa bihamdik Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh